Hello there. Do you like my long necklace? If you do, today I'm going to share with you how to make your own long necklace with leather lace. It's cheap, quick and easy. Join me. Today we are outdoors in case you hear the birds in the background. We are making our leather lace long necklace and our cord as you can see is the leather lace but you can use anything ribbon knitting wool fishing line we're going to use a charm and mine my son made it during his uh, DT class design and technology two beads for the edges one stabilizer and one big one and you can choose whatever type of beads you'd like but today I wanted to have it wooden and our cord is 4.5 meters because we're using a double so fold it into two and then into two again and hold in the middle like this and then bring one pair the other end and I'm going to bring this and I'm using this spaces to be the middle of my charm. You might have a ring and that's okay. And then I'm going to pull this through all the way to my middle. I'm going to tangle up all the way to the middle that I'm holding. And that's my middle. Let me check. Yeah. And once I do that, I'm going to pull this hook like this, put my two fingers in and pull the four cords in so that I have a neat, neat finish like that. Yeah. On this one, this is a necklace. You know, if you wanted something totally bohemian, you know, or gypsy. And then I'm going to hold all the four again and put through my wooden hoop bead. The one I said is like our stabilizer. They're wide enough that you don't need too much help. So I pull in until it's all go through and when that happens I'm going to do a knot also at the end try to make it neat and then come put in the big one and this is our loop and I'll show you what I mean by a loop. That's why using these big African beads. And once you put it in, this is the place where we're going to adjust our length. So we're going to put a knot on like 20 centimeters away from this end. We're going to put a knot here for decorative but above all functional because we don't want this bit to come out so we're going to do a neat knot like that so that this bit doesn't come through we're then going to put hold all the other four edges and put them through our bead or our hoop again like like we are about to remove them. And then hold and pull through till they are equal. And you can see this is what I meant, but by this is what adjusts our length. This is the place we adjust our length. And then we'll come to this other end. Pick 
hold two edges put our bead the end bead and remember here is where if you'd like you can add more beads so make it straight you can add more beads different colors but I'm using one wooden end make a knot and then make another knot on this other end neat and smooth so that it holds the bead in but still looks pretty do the same on the other side this other side is also finished so when we pull them through it looks neat this one off the edge but it's neat You don't need to cut off this other one because it's double. My friends, this is our final product. Pretty, pretty. And I'll show you how it looks when I wear it. This was the one I had during the introduction. I have a different type of look metal different charm bead wax and beads are different this is our final necklace yeah it is this is the look from our bead that helps it go up and down depending on how you need to wear it you can have it longer by adding the length of the cord different beads color but this time I wanted just a wooden feel. So if you found this adding value to you, please subscribe, press the notification button so that you can get to know when my next video is out. This was one of my life hacks. I hope you get to try it out and post it on Facebook. The description is here below. So God bless you, Barakatele. If I can do it, you can do it yourself. Bye.